Good morning, I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an Instant. First, a look at the market movement from last week. March corn went down nine cents, ending at four dollars and sixty-one cents. Then March soybeans took a big jump, going down forty cents and ending at twelve dollars and fifty-seven cents. Now for some news that is out of this world, literally. Researchers at the University of Nebraska are working on growing corn on Mars, creating a crop that can withstand Mars environment will be challenging being that Mars feels much less gravity than the Earth. The soil makeup is much different. It receives less of the sun's light and the temperatures fluctuate very frequently. But these researchers believe that if they can develop a corn crop that can withstand those conditions, these technology advancements could be huge for our crops back here on Earth. And with it being the new year, college students all over the nation will begin to fill out their FAFSA application. There was a bill passed at the end of 2023 that attempted to simplify the free application for federal student aid process, but in result, now farm families may find it more difficult to qualify for financial aid. The goal of the bill was to shorten the actual FAFSA form. Previously, there was an exemption in place for families who owned farms or small businesses so that there was no asset test when those kids were applying for financial aid. But that changed with the FAFSA Simplification Act. They got rid of the exemption. And some members of Congress are taking steps to correct this error in the bill. There has been legislation introduced in both chambers to reinstate the exemption. For your ag in an instant, I'm Eliza Petrie.